what's going on y'all it's eat with passion black one this is what we have here today we have tangerines i got me some peanut butter and bread obviously this peanut butter is amazing hope you guys having a, a beautiful amazing day just like i am uh if you have you guys haven't subscribed go ahead and click on that subscribe button in the bottom left like and share we're gonna get the show on the road Amen. Oh, that's loyal. Don't worry about it. He don't like an animal. He don't like a dog. He's upset right now. Look at that. Hmm. One thing about life, it's, it's funny. You know what? I was reading this book. And I'm, I'm always reading every damn day. And I've been up in my reading every, every moment. Not today, because I've been reading every 30 minutes each day. But usually I'm up in my reading each minute. But um, in life... We all have choices and responsibility, regardless if we don't choose it or not. You understand? Those responsibilities, the consequent responsibility, having responsibility helps you of problem solving. It's crazy because I'm having all these recalls and I remember how I would just avoid certain problems and certain responsibility. I'm not understanding why I need to go through this to actually propel me to be the better person or best version of my own self. You get what I mean? And it's amazing. It is amazing how life is, period. And I'm just taking it as like, never take that for granted. Go through those adversity, go through those growing pains because with these growing pains that we're going through, it makes you a better person. You get to see the finished product of you. The finished product of you, man. And I love every minute of it. Everything. When it comes down to relationships, it comes down to what kind of friendships you have. It comes down to you. You got to understand your own value. You got to understand your own value. If you look yourself in a mirror, and this is the truth, and there's certain characteristics, traits, that you see yourself and what you do, and a lot of people don't aware is not aware of these things, but you choose your your mates or your friends by your own values. If you have shitty values, then you're gonna have shitty friends. You're gonna have shitty people that. You're going to always talk about, like, say, for instance, if you're the type of person that talks about people and better yet, if you're the type of person that talks about your best friend and you don't say it to your best friend face and you're there 
hanging out with your best friend and criticizing this person and not really saying it to his face and you say it to another person, it says a lot about you. And then your friend's doing it is because it says about a lot about you because that's what you do. So it's crazy. That's why I always tell you guys, always, 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 always get to know yourself. Get to know yourself. Because if you get to know yourself, then you get to know a lot of people about people too. And that's a fact. We get influenced around our society the things we watch, people we hang around with, regardless if it's your your relationship with your girlfriend, your wife, whoever, from your family, you you get sway all these all these views, and you don't have your own thinking because, well, yeah, you don't want to think you don't want to take that responsibility. And then you have people choose your uh, what they want you to do for you. And you don't want that. You really don't want that. Trust me. And that's the reason. They say fault is past tense. And responsibility is your present tense, what you do every day. You have choices every day to make an impact of yourself and be the better version of yourself. That's what comes with discipline. Having discipline is a key. Yep, so every day I'm like I'm taking I'm taking my time, I'm taking my own accountability to get up each and every day. Continue to build myself, continue to read, continue to write. Right was on my also on my mind, my thoughts, my emotions, and and I'm gonna be real with you guys. I I was never the type of person to express myself as much, and for me to be doing this, it's like it's 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 always an eye opener to me. It is. Think about it. A man is not supposed to express himself. He's always supposed to be cold and always supposed to hold back his emotions and all that stuff. Think about that. Ladies, if you guys have a is in a in a relationship and you want your man to express himself, make him be free to express himself without no judgment. Make him feel like, yo, regardless of what happened or how you feeling, I'm here. Let him know that. Because sometimes we go through a lot of shit. And that's our responsibility again, because again, it's a choice. It is a choice that if we want to open up or not, right? But it's the sense is if you guys are together and you want him to open up, give him the room to open up to you. Give him a chance to open up. Let him know that you're really there for him. 
Sometimes we just want to hear that. But, uh, yeah, you guys, you got to make, make sure you understand that regardless if you're not making a choice, the universe is going to make the choice for you <laughs> at the end of the day. So just remember that. You feel me? But until next time, y'all, love. Mm -hmm.